Hey everybody, I'm Not Great, and welcome to another episode of the Chrono Cross Radical Dreamers Edition Let's Play. So when we left off, we had just jumped off of a fucking balcony. Because uh, Lynx was being a creepy dick, and um, yeah, we aren't here for that shit. Also, he kind of sort of nicked Kid with a throwing knife, so you're finally awake. If you're looking for your friends, they're outside. And let's see. Um, oh yeah, my thumb is still broken. I go in for an x-ray tomorrow. Did you get a good night's rest? You can go outside through that door. Go say hi to your friends. I guess I should do that. Sure. Fucking Pierre over there. Oi, Serge, you finally woke up, eh? Yep. Give your thanks to Korcha. He's the one that saved us after we fell off the cliff. <laughs> no sweat. It's all part of my job as a ferryman. But I have to admit, you caught me by surprise when you came falling from the sky. You're lucky that it was <laughs> the sea that you fell into and not the rocks. Yeah, pretty lucky. Jeez, you're such a wuss. How could you get knocked out from such a short fall? As for me, a little graze like this ain't gonna knock me down. <clears throat> oh, oh man, she's burning up. There's a clinic in this village. We should take her there. Come on, I need your help. Okay. I mean, he's built for rowing and paddling, not for lifting people. It's a weird outfit, but okay. Not on Doc, but on the... the... Barret Lady? Sure. Anyways, it seems the patient has been poisoned with Hydra Venom. I would say the most she has to live is about two days. If we had some Hydra humor, we'd be able to neutralize the poison. Doc, if we find this Hydra humor, we can save this girl. Yes, but that's impossible now. Hydras are now extinct on El Nido. What do you mean extinct? What's going on? Hydras are very rare and valuable creatures. The blood, bones, meat, every part is valuable. It's considered to be a panacea for various illnesses. That is the reason Hydras were hunted to extinction in El Nido. As a result, a whole species has been made extinct. And all just to make a quick fortune. Yeah, people suck. Is there no way to find this humor? If we could cross the sea to the mainland, there might be a chance, right? That is not possible. The currents of El Nido are extremely dangerous this time of year. It would be futile to try to cross the sea unless you were on a large vessel. Alright, so just so you guys know, coming up, we're going to be a huge douche. By we, I mean me. I'm going to make a really awful decision. I'm going to be an asshole. But it's for a good reason. Even if you manage to get there, your chances of finding Hydra humor are bleak. We do not have much time. Also, I'm on the... I'm currently on the new graphics setting. Hey, the, this episode and the last episode were on new, the two episodes before that were on classic, and then the first episode was also on new. It... Mm. Hey Doc, where are you going? Nothing's been resolved yet. Excuse me, I need to be alone for a while. So as I... It, what I've been seeing so far is that if you're on the new graphics, the the faces look different? Like on the actual characters and the the avatars, like the the um, dialogue avatars are different with updated artwork. I'm really torn because I'll uh, let's keep going. I'll sh we'll, we'll see. Kid is going to die if we leave her like this. Is this some kind of joke? Wait right here. I'll go get the doctor back. Whack. Who the hell are you? What's this? Mon apologies for bumping into moi. Ooh la la, don't you know any manners? Oh, hi, Harley.
Ah, uh, she is down for the count, just as I thought. Yeah, you show Pierre what a French accent actually sounds like. Serge, mon ami, why don't we just leave her be? Who are you, and what's with that strange costume? And why don't you believe in pants? Citer, I have no business with no chicken oak. I am having a conversation with Serge. You are bothering moi, so keep your mouth shut. Why you? I ain't gonna let you barge into this room and get away with all the stuff you've just said. You made me mad. I'll show you some manners. I'm not gonna cut you any slack just cause you're a girl. Try if you dare. I am not so weak as to be caught by a chicken hook. Hey, you've got some nerve. You're gonna regret it. Charge! Poof. Whatever. Alright, so this is more or less the reason why we're going to be a huge asshole here in just a, a few lines of dialogue. Um, I don't want Korcha. I don't want to recruit Korcha. I don't care about Korcha. I do... Korcha can fuck right off. I do want to recruit Glenn and Doc. So there's that. Ah, 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 you are amusing... Ha ah, ah, ha, such a simple ton. It's so much fun playing jokes on you. I was only here to see how she was doing, but I had fun while I was at it. So long, Serge. Au revoir, mon ami. Please dream of moi every night. Wee. Weird, creepy. She's a loon. What's her goal? I just don't get it. Yo, Serge. Are all of your friends like that? Thanks, Korcha. Come on, go talk to her. It's like, I can't... It's hard for me to tell if the actual characters look different with the new style. Like, they look similar, but... Not super similar, I think. I don't... Ah, oh, it's just... It's weird, it's weird, it's weird, it's weird, it's weird. Anyways, okay. Uh, even when she is suffering from a high fever, she is worrying about you, Serge. Yeah, that's sweet. Serge, I'll leave this with you. It's my favorite amulet. Receive the astral amulet. Yay. Remember what the prophet said, Serge. Where did it all start? Where do angels... Lose their way. Try to remember, Serge. I'm feeling a bit tired. I'm gonna rest up for a while. You heard what the doc said. There are no more hydras in this world. On top of that, there's no way to get to the mainland, and El Nido isn't that small a place. You're gonna take a one in a million chance to search for this thing just to save a girl you barely even know? Hey, what you gonna do? I don't know. Hey, wait a minute. She's your partner, ain't she? Aren't you gonna do anything? Well, she was only with us for like one mission. There's nothing we can do. Hold it right there. Gorch is gonna get pissed. You've got no right to keep that girl's amulet. Leave that thing here. What's wrong? Hurry it up. Okay. Serge handed over the astral amulet. Ugh, this is disgusting. It's turned out to be a bad day. All right, so let's do that, and also, let's go back to Mojo. Yeah. Yeah. Can I just walk up and, like, steal the amulet again now that Corch is out of the room? Whatever. Uh, let's see, there's Poshul, there's Lena, there's Mojo, there's... 
Javier is almost at the bottom of the list. Where he belongs. Um, oh yeah. Remove all, yeah. Alright, um... Turn black isn't gonna help us a whole lot. Okay, cool. There we go. That should help us. Alright, so... Mojo does not need any white elements because he is not... He is a black. Arrow Saucer, Magma Bomb, and... Ice Lance? Yeah, we'll do that. Then we'll do... Bushwhacker, Fireball, Aqua Beam. We need to give him a Cure. We'll do Heal. There we go. All right, now Lena. There we go. Of course, you get an Aqua Beam, an Ice Lance, an Ice Blast, and we'll give you a cure there. Give you two cures right there. I'm also gonna give you revive in the third slot. Give you a photon ray. Give you an uplift. Give you an arrow saucer. And fuck it, another aqua beam. There we go. Surge has two open slots? Yeah. Let's give you... Oh, it's a six. Damn. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we don't want to use that yet. Give you an uplift. probably make room for more red stuff, so we'll do a magma bomb right there. There we are. And equipping. Mojo. Do a copper helmet. Uh, don't care about that. Do that. And that. to work for now. Yep. Yeah, that'll be fine. Fuck it. I can't just steal it. Oh. Look up hope we'll do our best to save her. Please do. Because I have absolved myself of any responsibility regarding this matter. Uh, let's see. Anything under the bed? Nope. Anything on that weird sail curtain thing? 
And you'd think a doctor would have a healing element stashed someplace that we could jack, but I guess not. Hello, little person. Welcome, traveler. I will trade your materials for your... I will trade you materials for your extra elements. Okay, cool. Okay, number in stock. So I need eyeballs. I definitely need screws. Wow, that's pretty fucking expensive. Damn. Um, yeah, screw that. Carapace is 32? Fuck. I mean, we could just... Farm gold. So is your traveler's right, although I hesitate to do so, I have a favor to ask you. I received this bone from a trader, but I would like you to set it adrift in the seas. I'm sure his real owner would like to have it returned to nature. So can you... Yeah, I can. Why, thank you. Here it is. Got a pelvis. Yeah, you need guts to get through life. Hey, that's right. My favorite dish is Terminus Famous Squid Gut Pasta. Skelly's happy. Do you sell? Let's see, equipment is essential, blah, 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 blah. Yep, let's see what we can do. And I need a carapace. I can do the copper swallow. And do two of these? Yes, I can. I'll need this for when it is better. I need a carapace. I've already got a copper sword. Copper pick, we don't need. Copper rod, we don't need. Iron lure, don't need. And we also don't have iron. Alright, cool. How about armor? Copper vest, copper mail. Well, damn, I forgot that part. Will anything give me a fucking carapace? Silver pendant. Anything else? I think the pendant is the one that does the HP. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, so we need... God damn it. Whatever. Let's get out of here. Who are you? Okay. Let me rest a little bit. Even though I might look strong, I only have the strength of an average human. Okay. Hello, cricket person. Demi-humans in this village get along with humans, but many others of our kind still hold a grudge against humans. Those that were driven off the mainland gathered to build the village of Marbul. It's on the big island way down southeast of here. Okay. You sell elements? Sorry to be abrupt. Do you have any come across any shiny material? Uh, elements are common items nowadays, but there's a special kind called summon elements. This kind releases awesome power based on one of the six attributes. Shiny material is a mysterious byproduct of this phenomenon. 
This material is an essential item for craftsmen to forge advanced weapons, armor, and accessories. Still, everything depends on the skill of the craftsman. All right, cool. Population is lower compared to the past. Old customs might fade away with time. As they do. I mean, that happens. Now the life is about to slip through my hands just like before. I'm having a crisis. Studying medicine changed nothing at all. Man, I am so powerless. Hi, Orla. So are you going to just give up on this life? That's not the case, is it? If you do, who else will help her back from the edge of life and death? Uh... I don't know your past. Living bound by the past is a very painful thing. You need to face reality head on. Running away isn't a sin, but it accomplishes nothing. But I... One thing is different from the past. You have the ability to heal. Everyone in the village recognizes that. Don't suffer by yourself. If you give up now, you will never be freed from your past. Now go. Don't let it end without doing something first. I have done them a discourtesy. I am a failure as a doctor, but I must do what I can. Cool. Our doctor is a failure. Awesome. Kids got great chances. Oh, fuck. Thumb. Ah. Um. Let's not go in right now. Uh, you might be right. That's kind of awkward. It's getting weird, man. Oh, it says shop. Okay. Ah, oh, look at all the people. It's too crowded in here. Social distancing! Uh, we're a small village, but we have some rare elements you won't find in bigger towns. All right, show me that shit. Oh, they have black. Nice. I'll buy one, but it's shit. Uh, meteorite will get two of. One more of those, and I think we're good. Cool. Just be careful. Blah, 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 blah. Now I talk to the kitty. I'm trying to talk to this dude, and I... Ah, oh, fuck it. It's a man of the sea. You gotta be on your toes, whether you're on land or manning the ship. I always pay close attention to my element placement. You have to think about terrain and attribute conditions, so it's pretty complicated. Sure, dude. Far off in the eastern El Nido Sea, there is a village, Marvul, homeland to us demi-humans, but my friends there hate humans. Oh yeah, that's right, that's what we were gonna do. What is the cheapest thing? Is this tablets? Okay. some fur too. Anything else we're missing? Eyeball. Alright, for an eyeball, let's do something else we have a shit ton of, maybe? Eh, whatever. We find more unwanted elements. I'm not finding them, I'm literally buying them. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, forge weapons. Can we make a... Oh, we need copper. All right, so this is symbol. One axe, copper swallow, bone sword, copper glove, copper dagger, bone, bone, copper sword, armor. We have two copper males stockpiled? Sure. There we go. Alright, let's get that copper swallow on there. It's got copper mail, copper helmet. Huh. I don't think we want to do that. That seems stupid. Copper glove, copper mail, copper helmet, magic ring loop. Alright. Uh, Besom CU-29, Copper Mail, and there we go. Oh, nope, wrong thing. There we go. Uh, let's see. That's it. Gravity blow there. And what do we have over here? Green and blue. Let's do that. Yeah, Hell Soul is bullshit. We don't need Hell Soul. Cool. Um, where else do we need to go? Oh yeah, I know now. We also we need to replenish our um tablets. Which we definitely have the money for. Yeah, we definitely got the money for that. Alright, um, let's head this way. See what the shit is up. Who are you? This is the residential tower. Good to know. You didn't answer my question. To the north of this village lies Earth Dragon Isle, which we locals call the land where the dragon sleeps, because there's a dragon sleeping there. Until a few years ago, the surface was covered with sand, but somehow the sand disappeared completely overnight. Where did it go? Or should be mad at us? I don't give a fuck. What do you want? You need something from me? I don't want nothing to do with you. Get out of here. Fuck off. You should got something to say. I need to borrow your boat. Lend you my boat? Ah, no way. Why should I lend you my boat? Sorry, pal. Go find someone else. Hold it right there. Uh oh. Oh, why are you here? You said you were gone shopping. Don't just start arguing with me. Aren't you gonna help your friends when they need you? I thought you were acting strange when you came home, but I don't remember raising my son to be so inconsiderate. Oh, leave me alone. These guys ain't no friends of mine. It's none of your business anyhow, Ma. I should I lend my boat to guys who abandon their own partners? Hey, wait a second. After overhearing that, I can't let you give up on your partners. Hmm, I don't see that blonde girl in red. What happened to her? She was poisoned with something that there's no antidote for in the world? So what's going on? I'd like you to tell this old lady your story. I see. That's why she isn't here. Explains why you're upset when you came back. You're a helpless boy, aren't you? This boy only said he doesn't know what to do. Don't you think that's a natural response? You were just saying that out of spite. What would you have done if you were in his shoes? Come on, speak up, Korcha. Um, um, well... You see? You're just the same. Now apologize to this boy. Sorry about that. I just lost my temper. Good, that's settled. Now that you understand, go help these kids out. Hey, that's a completely different story, Ma. I can't lend them my boat. Don't be such a miser. Just lend them a boat or two. 
you're so worried about the boat, just tag along with them. It's that simple, Korcha. I say a boat or two, but that's the only one I have. Besides, I don't know these guys from... <laughs> you're such a blockhead. Fine, I'll borrow the boat. You never stay put, so it's a good time to do your chores. Go take care of Mel while you're at it. You understand? Damn. Oh god, you gotta be kidding. Now, what is your name, young man? My name is Serge. Okay then, Serge, nice to meet you. My name is Matcha. You can call me Ma or Matcha, whatever you like. I'll be waiting at the docks. Call me when you're ready to leave the village. By the way, Serge, you should go see the shaman. You look like you're lost. She might be able to help you get back on your path. The fuck is the shaman? Alrighty. The fuck? Oops, I almost forgot and came back to get some things I left behind. Okay, Serge, call me when you're ready to go. This isn't anything special, but go ahead and keep it. You know what frames are, right? This frame is called Tropical Paradise. Nice. Okay, Serge, I'll be waiting for you at the docks. Do I finally get to move again? Sure. Don't get me wrong, I'm lending you to the boat, because Ma said to. That's fine with me. Be a little brat. It's cool, man. Whatever. <sighs> New run here, right? You know what these wires are for? You don't know, I'll teach you. That's okay, I already know. You really know? You're kind of fishy. Oh well, if you already know, that'll make things easier. So what's it gonna be? You're talking to me because you want to do it, right? Uh, later. Oh, shucks. Call me when you want to go down. Yep. We don't need to go down that way yet. That'll actually slow us up. Oh, it's you guys again. Did you come to laugh at me? Uh, what losers? Only loser I see here is one named Korcha. Korcha. We will take the zip line before we leave, I promise. To everybody who's concerned that there's not enough zip line in these games, we will take the zip line. After we find the wise woman thing, whatever. The fuck are you? This is the Dragon Shrine residence of our chief, Shaman Diria. Er, Diria. Be sure to act courteously on the premises. Okay. Um, hey. You heard of the six dragons in this world? There's supposedly six dragon gods. Six great dragons descend from the heavens to seal away evil and promise eternal prosperity across the land. This is part of an old song that's been passed down in El Nido for a long time. I wonder what they look like. Well... If you watch my Let's Play, you'll find out. This shameless self-promotion brought to you by... I don't know, fucking Broken Bones or something? Anyways, welcome to the Dragon Shrine, says Shrine Maiden, who will have a name here in a second. I am Stina, a shaman serving village chief and high priestess Diria. Or Diria. Diria? Diria? Fuck, I don't fucking know. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I presume that you have come to this shrine seeking assistance. Please don't hesitate to ask Chief Diria, Diria, for guidance. Fuck! I need to make a choice, but it's so hard to remember what choice I made. All right, uh, you have uh, a young yet gentle air, and an odd wind swirls around you. I have heard that such wind bearers appear at times, but that's me. You speak the truth, that you are already dead in this world. That's me. Mmm, I see. So that's why you have an odd air about you. You're fucking dead. As for a way to return to your original world, I do not know. There are always reasons why such phenomena occur. The land of Genesis. Your only key may lie there. The key that connects your world to this one. It is, shall we say, a dimensional distortion of sorts. Okay. Where the fuck is it? Sheena or Stina, there we go. El Nido has long been called the land where the dragons sleep. There are islands named after dragons and numerous Dragonian ruins and artifacts. You may have encountered some of these already. Most famous are the islands of the Sky Dragon, the Earth Dragon, and the Water Dragon. And the ancient ruin, Fort Dragonia, that lies to the east. Of the many Dragonian ruins, Fort Dragonia is one of the few that is still fully functional. The key to activate this ruin is the Dragon Tear. 
It was given to our ancestors by the extinct Dragonians as a symbol of our friendship. It has been passed down through successive shamans, but... It was stolen and taken away from Goldov by an unknown interloper. Their intent is unknown, but if they plan to activate the ancient ruin, a great disaster shall come about. Our people have been searching for it, but we have found no trace of it. Okay. Uh, let's save. And because we made a major decision, it is time for another save file. Alright, um... Cool, so Genesis, uh, whatever, bye. Anything over there? No. Is there a zip line here? Fuck yeah. I'll show this to my big brother. Oh, we're not allowed to use this one until we use the other one? Fucking. Fucking bullshit. That's bullshit. All right, everybody. The real reason why you're all watching this Let's Play. Let's zip line the fuck out of here. Fuck you, Korcha. All right, here we go. Uh, let's see. That's okay, I already know. Really? You're kind of fishy? Look, it's a zip line, dick. Of course I do. You didn't... Fuck. All right. Have a safe flight. Zip line. Yes. We all need more zip line in our lives. Can I? Can I come back here and steal the, the amulet now? Can I steal the amulet? Oh, hey, Doc. I'll do what I can. You dudes go do whatever you can for her. To be perfectly honest, without the antidote, her chances of survival are close to zilch. But we cannot give up hope without a fight. Okay. Uh, don't give up hope. The Doc will do his best. Yep. Cool. That wakes for me. I think that's everything. And we've upgraded. I think Macha uses a spoon as well, but we don't have enough copper for this shit. So, yeah, we've got everything we can get. Okay, then let's get going. All of you, get on the boat. Get on the boat. Get on the boat. Get on the boat. Um, Lena? There we go, okay. I wonder if Mojo's body is more buoyant than the nail that runs through his body is dense. I am very curious if you put him in the water, if he would float or if he would sink. No, I don't know why I'm curious about this. But I am. Hey, the fuck? Get fucked, racist. By whose permission are you docking that boat there? Get that thing out of here right now. How about you get fucked? You don't see any other boats need to dock, do you? That's not the point. What I'm trying to say is shut your racist fucking mouth. Yes, ma'am. Okay, we're in Termina. Do what you need to do. What the fuck do I need to do? I have no idea what the fuck I need to do. Do what you need to do. Fuck off with that shit. Sorry, postponed. Ticket booth for a refund. I could have picked Nikki. Let me in. Oh, there's Mickey. Concert's been postponed. Nikki's acting strange. I just wanted to pack up and hurry out of Termina for crying out loud. Sounds like Nikki was snooping around Viper Manor. He won't tell us why, but something really shocked him. 
weird. I can't remember what it was. This area's off limits. All non-staff members. Blah de blah de blah. It's like that's that's why I was a stagehand for ten years, is I just liked being able to go through those doors. Like, I get to do that as an electrician now too. Like, you see a door that says, you know. Uh, only certain personnel are allowed and everyone else keep out or what the fuck ever. Like, those are the doors I get to go through. Like, I get to do work inside of evidence lockups at police stations sometimes. Unfortunately, Nikki's concert has been cancelled. Just a nose of body, body, blah. Don't care. What do you say? These are broken. A Viper Manor took Miss Riddell hostage. That was us. The dragoons are still out looking for the thieves. Can I go back here? No. Welcome to the Dragon's Tail. Our house is open to all, but we don't allow uh, tabs or brawls. Yep. Until, by the way, you look. What do you think of Termina? Love this town. Bloody, bloody, blah. Squid got pasta. Bloody, bloody, blah. Choose something different. Bloody, bloody, blah. Conversation over. Bye. I think now I should be able to pick up. Um, what's his face? Um. You're gonna uh, looking for a useful element. Oh shit. Yep. Okay. Is this old dude still back here? Yes, he is. It isn't Lena. Blah blah blah. blah. You're so silly. Uh, Shadow of the rare mushroom. I envy you. Thought so. Viper likes mushrooms. Sure he does. Bye. Is there no one here that can tell us how to get to Genesis? This little girl feeling better? I guess so. <laughs> she's asleep. Mama's busy working all by herself day after day. No wonder she's so tired. I'm not supposed to know this, but Papa is not really coming back. Mama said he's gone on a long trip in the ship, but... If I weren't so sick, I would have gone out to search for him. But Korcha will find Papa for me on that beautiful boat, right? Korcha is so admirable, he never complains to anyone that he doesn't have a father. Mama will understand someday that Korcha is a nice person. What is it? Um. Someone always brings Dracorn grass and leaves it here for us. If you drink soup made from it, it will stop any bad cough almost instantly. I'm glad to have it, but who could be leaving it for us? Okay. God, stop it. Alright, um, where to next, where to next, where to next? How are things going with you? Looks like this marketing thing. Yay, we got healed. Um, hmm. Should probably talk to Mermaid Guy later. There we go. Oh, blessed child, flow with the river and rest in peace. That's a dead baby on that boat. When thou returnest to this world once again, may thou greet thy father and mother with a blessed smile. Please, or come, please say your last farewells. <laughs> I just have to uh, crying. I was to drink with you when you were growing up. Why did you have to leave us? Oof, that hurts. The boat shall now be cut adrift. Your son spirit shall ascend to heaven with your warm blessings. Everything that has formed must eventually fade away. Though that may be nature's way, I feel my heart being torn apart at times like these. Why must we face death? And who is the one that decides when we die? 
gets. I have not yet seen the light, amigo. Dear passing stranger, if you have a moment to spare, please give this wandering soul a small prayer to guide him on his path. Sure, let's go pray for the baby. Or not. I guess we can't pray for the baby. Whatever. Let's go talk to our friend to be Greco. Those damn dragoons. What nerve they have to call me an imposter, especially after they dragged me all the way out to the valley. Someone must have been playing a prank. Don't concern yourself about it. Um, that was us. Hmm. Are you really a human who does not exist in this world? You are now drifting between the boundaries of life and death? You are too young to be taken into the arms of darkness. Although it is in my best interest to aid you, my duty is to watch over the spirits here. That's all right, Rickup. I'll be here to keep things in order. Uh, uh, Romana, you are still too young to take on such a task. The spirits are always looking for a chance to draw the living into the darkness. Uh, but my brother, Gats, was able to save you from being drawn into the dark. He gave his life to help you. Uh... I am the sister of Gats. A small thing now and then won't get me down. This time, you must save this one from the darkness. I think Gats desires that also. Fuck. Let's see. You might be right. I believe that the only way to make up for my mistakes to get was to live it was to live in hiding for the rest of my life. I realize now that I was only trying to escape from my responsibilities. May I assist you in escaping the darkness, amigo? Please, yes, sure. Racco tags into your party. And we'll keep his name. Uh let's see, Mojo is 890, 826, 712. See, accuracy is a little bit low. Agility is low. 887, 90, 26, 12. Yeah, okay. No more mojo. Oh, he's already got copper stuff. Cool. Fireball, you get a magma bomb. Uh, you get a photon ray and a gravity blow. Uh, let's see. We'll also give you a heal, a hell soul. No, no, we don't give you a hell soul. That's silly. And we already gave you gravity blow, right? Yeah, yeah, we did. Cool. All right, um, you need an Electro Jolt. Give you an extra Magma Bomb. And Arrow Saucer. And fuck it, we'll give you Meteorite. Let's see, Copper Helmet. Magic Ring. Silver loop. Done and done. Whee! Um, where the fuck do we go next? Do we go talk to Van, maybe? Or the Smith? I don't know what the fuck. All 
All right, what you got? Forge. Weapons. Okay, they can do iron. I have neither copper nor iron, though. And you know about this? There's an amazing material called rainbow that can be smithed into very fine items. When we were young, we went to search for it ourselves, but never found it. We stopped searching when Karsh was born. Children are far more valuable than any treasure, you know. Yeah, but that man hasn't been shut down yet. Who knows when he might go out and so back on a search? Okay, cool. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? We need to find we need to find Glenn. I can't remember if we find him before the next part or after the next part. Whatever. Let's see if Van has anything to say or do for us. Here's that the festival may be cancelled too. I believe I may end up watching everything from this balcony like I did last year. Oh um. Okay, bye. Uh, let's see if... Wait, no, he's not going to join us until later. Bye. Oh, shit, that's right. We need to check on Mermaid Lady. You can hear a faint sobbing. Okay. I'm now gather and see for yourself. I'm selling all the rare bloody blog. It's just, we won't regret it. Um, what can I trade for a mermaid? Oh, you have all this shit. Okay. Um, nothing I have will help. So, fuck. Oh, here we go. There's a Glen. The general and his men are headed for Fort Dragonia. There has been word that the major power of the East, or is up to something suspicious. They seem to have heard rumors of the Frozen Flame being in El Nido and are coming to investigate. My, then that means the poor army might invade this town any time now. I wonder if we will be all right. Yes, that is why we are moving to the fort for a while. That fort is far from town, so it is not used normally, but it has good defenses. I was ordered to remain at the manor and protect Miss Riddell, but she felt very uneasy about the way General Viper was acting before he left. So, what are you going to do? Aren't you going to get in trouble if you leave the manor? Yes. Still, I cannot stop thinking about it, and so I am planning to infiltrate the fort by boat. You sure about that? If worse comes to worst... If worse comes to worst... You might be discharged from the Akashia Dragoons. Good jump. Yes, I will <laughs> I will act in accordance with my faith, even if I have to break military regulations. I must go, ma'am. I will come back and buy flowers when I return. Take care. Where are you going? Dude, where the fuck are you? Can I do that? Can I? Nope, okay. You know the Radical Dreamer's still laundry? <laughs> so worried. That's... You weirdo. Okay. So, um, let's pop in... To the inn. We will save our game. Cool. And we're gonna call that a... Thing. Thank y'all for watching. Ooh. Mm. Fuck. We had to be kind of a dick. But that means that we get Matcha, which is cool. And we get Glenn, which is badass. And if Glenn doesn't already have a copper sword, we're totally fucking sealing it from here. Uh, let's see, there's my mouse. So, 
I hope you enjoyed it. We will get into more later. We'll probably be doing a lot more if it turns out my thumb is actually broken and not just, like, slightly cracked or otherwise damaged. Because I can't do construction with a broken thumb. Or they might find something for me to do. I don't know. But thumbs are important. Always keep that in mind. And while you do that, I will see you again next time for more Chrono Cross, the Radical Dreamers edition. The Let's Play. Have a good one.